Uh, we are going to uh, name this turtle and with love and appreciation and uh, gratitude to my co-founders and everyone, um, they've given me the beautiful permission to name the turtle. And in my world, um, my daughter, Courtney, stand, who's eight months old on this beach, stands for the environment. I don't agree with everything she believes exactly, right? But her heart is so set on animals and the environment, it would be incomprehensible for me to possibly try to explain it. She's become a vegetarian. She is a wildlife ecology major in school. She now has a 3.989 is her current exact GPA, 3.989. And she is super frustrated that she got an A minus in the class and that her school does not have A pluses because they did, she'd have over a 4 0 because she has seven classes where she had a 98 or higher. And if she had A pluses, she'd be over a 4 0, right? Which is completely unfair that she had a 93 and has a, you know, less than 4.0 GPA. Sorry to be different that. So she is, and yes, I am in hierarchy as well at times. So she is going to be working at Mystic Aquarium in Mystic, Connecticut. It's super challenging internship to get working with sea lions that is the the cry of her heart at this point and so last year we named our friend that we freed that is out in these waters i'm confident alive and well asha maud and maud was my grandmother nani's actual first name and she abandoned it readily uh, but we named asha maud and so my daughter courtney on her mom's side had a grandmother her mom's mom, who passed away when Courtney was a baby from kidney failure, other complications. It was just tragically sad. That woman loved my children, was the light, the beacon of her life. Her complete existence was my three children. And so the other night, uh, and the Bruce Springsteen night, we had a conversation and said, Court, do you want to name the turtle again? She said, of course I want to name the turtle again. I said, what do you think? And she said, I want to name the turtle Sandy. S-A-N-D-I, Sandy. And that was Courtney's grandmother who's in heaven, who's about to have her name released into freedom forever into the sea. Well, honestly, so, it depends on the let's turtle. Go. Adam, what do you got uh, we've for tracked Sandy? our turtles as far north as the Florida Keys. I am so grateful for Sandy Shell. Mm. It is beautiful and amazing At this to, be, size, able to probably be the last human beings to, to touch this creature before he goes off to sea. Awesome. Next. Let's go around the circuit. Just an amazing opportunity. Just grateful that we get to do this every year. Just unbelievable. The good we do in the world, this is just a continuation of it. Potentially. So it it's amazing really depends that Sandy has given so much training so for everyone here today back. and the gift of her, yeah. her beauty and that we're going to let her go be, be free. Honestly, it's just an uh, honor. Very they grateful. could. They could decide. And Gina, to just in light of what you saw on the surface of the water, does it give you weird feelings <laughs> when you see turtles in <laughs> Yes. Don't answer that. Yeah. Yeah. For me, the turtles always remind me of my grandmother, Emily. She collected turtles, and every time uh, I see, experience a turtle, I think of my grandmother, who's just so, such a good woman on this planet, and so grateful to be part of this experience to release such an incredible creature into the sea. How long can they so hold much their breath was the question. Sandy, uh, thank you for reminding me and us uh, how easy it is to be present. Um, Love you, Sandy. Sandy, when they're have a nice swim. I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, grateful to be able to give Sandy another chance at life and fully living. And Courtney, Tyler, Emma, this is Sandy. Court, beautiful job. And the spirit and soul of your grandmother will live on. In the name of Sandy, as Sandy is freed forever into the ocean. Love you guys, and we are at the end.